The goal of the project is to discover the origin of matter by replicating conditions just after the Big Bang. Twenty nations and international bodies make up CERN. Last April, scientists and journalists gathered at its Swiss headquarters as the last of 1,700 magnets was lowered into the Large Hadron Collider, or LHC. CERN Director General Robert Amar. It is an enormous task with very tricky logistics because the tunnel is very narrow and when we move the magnets in, nobody can be in the way. The particle accelerator and collider is a 27-kilometer tunnel, about 100 meters underground. CERN spokesman, James Gillies. This is a, a discovery machine. It's built to make discoveries. It's going to tell us lots of new things about the universe. If all goes as planned, sub-atomic particles will be accelerated around the tunnel next year, eventually approach light speed and smash into one another. To me, personally, the most exciting thing is that um, we know an awful lot about a very small amount of the universe. We understand the stars, the galaxies, the sort of stuff that makes up you and me. But we also know from cosmology that that's only about 4% of everything that must be out there. And this machine might start help, help us take the first steps into understanding the remaining 96% of the universe. More than 35,000 tons of material went into the underground lab. CERN engineer, Johan Doty. I have worked on the magnet for two years. Many hours went into this. Some conflicts from time to time, as in all workplaces but very good teamwork. Nearly 8,000 scientists and engineers from 500 universities and 80 nations work at the international facility, making CERN by far the largest particle physics laboratory in the world. Paul Sisko, VOA News.